Hey guys, what's up? It's Vodka here again. It's time with a video about the new CPS3 board. Yes, that is correct. I ordered a CPS3 Darksoft system. So now we can play Third Strike on real arcade hardware. And it came in today and uh, it's, uh, it's a little dirty. I'll probably clean it up and then I'll put it together. But there's all the stuff here with the CD-ROMs and the Sims plus the dark soft cart and then we can try to test her out and uh, on top of that I did buy a Jason's custom CPS3 case that should be arriving sometime later uh, maybe next month so I will be installing this into the case so it has a nice housing and plus I also did order the Digi AV HDMI out for this so I can mod it and so it can have uh, native HDMI out so we can capture video from the games and it should look crystal clear but the job's going to be a little harder because they don't have the quick solder kit the guy that was making it apparently it's not doing it anymore or he can't be reached so we'll have to do it the old and quick and dirty way so hopefully we we'll do it well and then get it all working and then we'll see what happens All right, we plugged in the CBS3 setup and it is working. Um, it's looking kind of weird on the monitor. I don't know if it's the super gun, the CPS3 board, or some of my connections to the PVM is a little wobbly. And as you can see, the screen's a little offset, it's incorrect. Um, I'll try it on the arcade machines themselves, but also I like to say that uh, the CPS2 Digi AV kit is here. I am going to try to install this onto the CPS3. It will require quite a bit of soldering, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But once I have that installed, I'll be able to get the HDMI out directly out from the CPS3 and it'll look really great for our game captures. The S SCSI uh, to SD drive came today. It was actually really close to me, so it shipped very quickly. So now I'm formatting the SD card to plug into here. So this thing's gonna simulate the CD-ROM drive. So I don't need the CD-ROM drive anymore. And I think the one that I got actually became busted. So I'm gonna show you uh, what you have to, what files you have to put on there for this. So first of all, my uh, Darksoft Multi. It is a custom, and uh, I had a friend tell me what it is. It's kind of, I'm not sure how to identify it. I think if you go to RK Project Forms, they can identify it for you. So you need to grab the custom ISO and then stick it into the SD card, and then plug it into here. As you can see, I have two versions of the files, the image files for the CPS3. So I'm gonna grab the custom one. All you do is copy it into your SD card, make sure it's formatted into FAT32 first. And then I have to rename the file into this guy. So actually, I think it already has an extension and I'm gonna make sure if it already has an extension, you don't need to have that. Okay, so now we're gonna plug it in and then try it out. All right, so it popped up into the Darksoft menu, so that's a good sign because before it was telling me that it didn't like the CD. As you can see, it is running off of this drive now. No more CD-ROM drives. Let's navigate into the menu. And now it boots into the game. I don't know if this is just a CPS3 thing. Um, you can see the little aspect ratio doesn't match exactly the TV. And also on the PVM, it gets a little wobbly. I don't know why that is. I'm gonna try it on the arcade machine next just to see how it looks. The CPS3 now is plugged into the arcade itself. You can see there's no really wobbling issues with the arcade machine. It actually looks fine. The only thing is that the uh, aspect ratio, obviously, it's a different system. So each system is like adjusted differently. So you can adjust the fill in for the monitor and stuff. I'll do that later. So, so far it looks so good. Um, we have it running. The last thing we will need to do will be to install into a case, 
plus install the Digi AV out so we can get pure HDMI feed out of it for our for any streams we want to do with it and that'll be the end so I'll probably make a video later on how to do that once the case arrives so if you enjoyed this video stick around for the next video follow-up video and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys